Welcome, one and all, to 2K Sports presentation of G League Basketball. In this game, we'll see the Windy City Bulls going up against the Maine Red Claws. Here with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're eager to see what these two teams have in store. Rosters are constantly shifting in the G League as new talents come and go. So it's always interesting to see how these teams perform. Well, the G League is a place for experimentation. You might see some clever new strategies or starting lineups tonight. Now here's Ellis. Outside Taylor. Over Burns. And that one's good, Junior. Looking at one of the newer members of this team, Junior. He's a Newark product, born and raised. He came straight to the G League from high school. And Junior wasn't a high-profile recruit coming out of high school, but he still felt that his best path was through the G League. If he makes it to the NBA, it'll be a huge boost for middle-tier prospects coming to the league. First trip to the free-throw line for him in this one. And he knocks down the first one. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Now here's Ellis. Pass to Junior. Three-pointer. Bangs home the trifecta. Well, defenses lock in on Jackson Ellis, but he's aware. So he likes to use that to find his open teammates out there. Now Martin. Leslie with the ball. Martin with the screen. It's good. The assist that time from Leslie. Good pass work. The assist was right on target. Right side, Taylor. Fires from deep. Makes it off the glass. And you know, it's a new addition to the G League recently. Select contract. The NBA created these as a way to bridge elite talent into the NBA. And at half a million dollars for the G League season, it's very enticing. The NBA made a big push to help foster the upcoming talent, and using the select contracts is a great mechanism to do just that. Leslie, that's good. There's a little confusion right there with the defense as to who is supposed to be guarding it. Taylor on the wing. Side Wells. Over Leslie. Here's Hutton. He got up. Oh, now he goes Stella. What a remarkable display of athleticism. Glad the Impaler knows how to finish in style. Leslie outside. Randolph. Leslie right side. Fires from the line. And Windy City again with the bucket. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Pass to Ellis. Middleton. On the money from 12 feet away. Well, ATM is money. Get it? From all over the floor. Finds a mid-range look he likes and sinks it. Outside Burns. Leslie. Randall. He's guarded by Ellis. Just five to shoot for three. Excellent D there from Ellis. You want a great way to measure the success of the G League? Just look at how many players in the NBA have spent time developing them. The numbers will really surprise you. Right now, about half of NBA players have spent some time playing in the G League. Most have done so early in their career, but that number will only grow over the coming years. Now here's Leslie. He has seven. Randolph for three. No good there. He didn't punish them for the weak coverage, but they can't count on him missing. He's got to go right back to that shot. Taylor misses. The Bulls trailing. Man, they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And there's the foul. It'll go on Hachi. That's his first foul. Windy City calls timeout. to 
Torre. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Junior. And the Red Claws pushing it up now. Pull up Jay. The shot by Pasenko, no good. Well, the NBA has used the G League as a testing ground for new rules. Rules the NBA is curious about implementing, but wants to see in action first. It's been pretty successful so far. Now here's Randolph. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. He's been off his game this quarter, just hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go. Taylor with it. Guarded now by Griffin. Outside Pasenko. Red. Taylor on the wing. Good, and Red gets the assist. Way to stretch the floor. When Junior's in his bag, he can hit from seemingly anywhere. Now Randolph. Can they get it? And that concludes the first quarter of play. Red Claws ahead. Up eight. And quarter two will get underway just after this short break. And a lot to take in during that first quarter. Can you guys give a breakdown on the play of Junior so far? He was in the zone from beyond the arc, knocking him down like it was easy. Defense has to be worried when they see him heating up like that this early. I'm sure they're going to try to tighten things up at the perimeter, but it won't be easy to slow down a talented shooter like him. Burns. Bray. Burns can't hit it. Well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out the Windy City Bulls are affiliated with the Chicago Bulls, but they are also affiliated with the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, that relationship uh, started in 2019. That's the case because Denver doesn't have a dedicated G League affiliate. Works out for everyone as Denver helps uh, fill the roster with some real quality prospects. Here's Posey. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Andre Haji comes up with the rebound. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. It certainly wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap. Drills it from outside. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. The defense, they have to close out quicker. Pass to Randolph. Outside Burns. Fires for three. Again, the miss by the Bulls. Yeah, a bit of a pride at stake there, trying to get that last three ball back, but uh, couldn't get it to fall. Here's Junior. Soft touch off the glass. And as they continue to dominate, you wonder just how much higher this lead might get. And it really could get out of hand because their defense has been just as excellent as their offense. Great overall game. Out of bounds, it'll be Red Claw's ball. Both teams deciding to change it up. And the Red Claws, one of the relatively older teams in the G League. Uh, you know, the franchise was founded in 2009. And the Red Claws have enjoyed success in the, the support of this community. There aren't a lot of pro teams at any level in Maine. It's a great way for Mainers to see some high-level basketball. Master Ray. Posey. They need this. And he's good on the three ball. They can't forget about him like that. He's not going to miss that open of a look. And here are the Red Claws. Now. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Here's Pittman. Another three there for Maine. Oh, some quick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, it sure didn't take him long to go and get those three points back. Outside Burns. Pass to Martin. Cozy. Elbow shot, and it's in. Maine calls timeout. Pittman. He's got five. And the NBA continues to help support the G League with talent. 
recently they upped the financial pay for players out of high school and they've now provided a real alternative to development outside of collegiate basketball now here is Randall Wyatt so far offensively searching for his first points in the game clock at six and it's Myers missing that's the Red Claws now and here's Taylor from the arc and the Red Claws miss again and with the new NBA financial incentives for high schoolers, several big-name recruits have already taken advantage of that. It's a potentially drastic change to how basketball talent is developed past high school. You can now bypass college completely and have an easier path to the NBA. A few years ago, there was only one real path, and that was through college ball. Follows outside. Lots of room. Connects. The jumper drops. Here's Randall. Martin outside. And the call will be against Duncan. That's his first foul. Here's Myers. Guarded by Wells. Pass to Myers. Randall with it. Just four to shoot. Here's Ray. From past the arc. Rebounded by Jackson Ellis. And the trend with NBA teams is to outright own a G League team. The usefulness and utility are really easy to see. 25 NBA teams now fully own and operate their G League affiliates. Only a handful of NBA teams share G League affiliates. I would imagine that uh, that will change in the coming years, though. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's Randall off the drive over Ellis. Misses off the right iron. Wells for three. And through one half that hasn't even been close. The Red Claws on top. Delivering the blowout. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter after the break. Well, first half of the game now behind us. Any thoughts on Junior's performance in this one? He had a terrific first half offensively. Not a lot of wasted shots, but was aggressive the whole time and piled up points. And you know, the D is going to be keying in on him from now on. I want to see how well he keeps his cool when they start putting multiple bodies on him. Pass to Burns. Randall. Andre Haji comes up with the rebound. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding. It's been terrific. They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. And you look at the developmental side of the G League. It's been a great stepping stone for so many NBA players over the years. Being in an environment that is basketball 24-7 really accelerates development. Players here hone their skills very quickly. It also lets them adjust to the physical nature of top-level basketball. Now here's Junior. They lead by 20, and that's the most we've seen. Well, shot is off. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Again, the miss by the Bulls. Junior inside, covered by Burns. Another miss by Wells. It's been one of those days for him. He is really struggling. Burns can't hit it. Outside Wells. He's going to play his way right onto the bench if he continues to shoot like he has so far in this quarter. Pass to Randall. Outside for Leslie. That one wide left. Outside Taylor. Outside Wells. Jacks up a three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Taylor. And he's one of the best shooters in the G League. If you want to rack up assists, just give the ball to Shammy Wells. 
Shammy getting it done here in the G League for a long time. Great form, beautiful release, can destroy a team from outside on any given night. Now here's Randolph. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Leslie outside from deep. Maine with the rebound. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Oh, one more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding. It set to tone. And the Bulls call time here. He's trying to take the win out of the sails there. They're on the, the wrong end of a run and need to sort things out. Yeah, things were starting to spiral out of control on them a little bit, and a timeout was a no-brainer there. Yeah, exactly, Brian. The Bulls making a switch here. Two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Back to Randall. And here's Leslie. Martin, Middleton defending. Martin can't hit. And a big change recently to the G League and the NBA was the inclusion of two-way contracts. Each NBA team only gets two such contracts to use to help make a roster management a lot easier between the two leagues. Now here is Randall. Ray over Haji. Ray shot is off. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute played. From about 16, and yes, he got the English that time as it falls. And with two way contracts, they're a relatively new addition between the leagues. Yeah, they started in 2017 and are only for players with four or less years of experience. But they allow the player to move freely between the G League and the NBA, and that makes it simpler for teams to have a young player gain valuable floor time. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Pass to Taylor. From downtown, and the Red Claws, another three. Well, you know, offensively, Brian, they've been really special. Yeah, you nailed it, Tim. No matter what the defense has thrown at them, they've just kept piling up the points. And more points. Now here's Martin. Now Randall. Pass to Martin. Down to five on the shot clock. Wesley outside. Burns. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. And the Windy City Bulls a few years under their belt as a franchise in the G League. And they've definitely improved since joining the G League. Yeah, the Bulls made the playoffs after a few years of struggles, but they have had a number of players work their way to the NBA. You think of names like Spencer Dinwiddie, Ryan Archidiakno, Alfonso McKinney. Those guys all played for this team. Now here's Leslie. Pass to Burns. Martin outside. Dives for it. Out of bounds. It'll be Red Claw's ball. You gotta ask, where was he going with that pass? Awful turnover. So both teams making some changes here. So we see the Red Claws taking the W here. He was unconscious from beyond the arc, and Coach recognized it. Kept calling his number, and he kept delivering. And it's so important for him to show that he can stretch the floor. Imperative in today's game. Tonight, a big step forward for him. And with that, our broadcast concludes. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of the G League. We'll
Okay, so there was a bump in the road with that first game. You recovered, so congrats, you'll remain in the starting lineup. <laughs> That's how you keep that NBA interest strong. Momentum. Give it to me here. <laughs> Boom. Big time players adjust instantly game to game. You did that. Yeah. Thanks, coach. I'm still trying to find my place in this game, but something's clicking. And hey, I heard the boys gave you a nickname. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still trying to head that off. <laughs> hey, from what I've experienced in my life, soft serves a delicious summertime treat. Should be honored. That's one way of putting it. Listen, I'm, I know I may not look it, but I've actually been in this league a long time. I started out as an NBA team's video coordinator before I became head coach here. I'll probably be an assistant in the league, but I like it here. Anyway, my point is, vets don't give nicknames to anybody. They give nicknames to the ones they respect. So you're on the right track. Keep your head up. Maybe eventually they'll change that nickname. <laughs> See you at practice. Thanks, coach.